Okay, welcome back. Today we're playing Green Black Raska. It's essentially just a mid rangey pile. Um, our top end doesn't consist of creatures, though. Uh, we mainly have planeswalkers. And yeah, I decided to go with Raska. I first wanted to actually build a, light, a Green Black Life Gain deck with Valentine, Dean of the Vein. But the first game that I had, I resolved the Raska onto the board and she fucking wrecked my opponent so i decided to just build the deck around her this is going to be an interesting match though i feel like i'm just going to keep this hand once upon a time first and actually snow covered swamp to play the valentine and just get in chip damage um yeah i just want to deal as much damage as possible before he resolves xanatara uh, we can't do that on his turn because this is a dumb spell. Um, it's a battlefield tapped unless you control a swamp or a forest. I don't really care about the Shambling Ghast. I think I'm going to just take this. Unless you control. And we resolve this. Next turn we probably just go Woodland Cemetery and Valentine. Yeah, Again, this deck mainly consists of... Strategies of keeping creatures on the board and removing a bunch of opponents creatures because I Don't want to deal with creatures when I have my planeswalkers. I want to uptick them as much mu as much as possible And that's it. I keep Valentine in the deck because he's either really annoying in the early game with giving us some extra life it hoses some mill slash graveyard decks because their creatures are kind of useless then um we, they got rid of our um, Dreadhorde Invasion, so there's no point in playing the Woodland Cemetery now over the Tapland. We actually get to see our um, now Skull Prophet in here. We don't use the mill ever, but it's a 3-1, which is an early beater. Uh, late game, it's a decent blocker, simply because it blocks fairly well. Duh. And that's about it. There is not much more strategy going into this. Uh, it doesn't look like he has any instant speed or sorcerer instant speed spells. That's why I decided to pump the knight over playing the skull prophet. Next turn we can Garuk anyways, and we would need to play his on turn five to ramp into on turn four to ramp into Raska there. But that ain't happening. Um, what are the like? I mean, I'm kind of... No, I actually would want to pump. So I'm playing this first. I don't really care if he has a counter spell here. At least I can pump for, punch for three. It's annoying. This Garouk is actually better than the other Garouk. We play both Garouks. Um, simply because he gives us a free creature. He comes down on turn four. He pumps something by three, which is a lot. Puts it on top of our deck. I don't really think we care too much about that. I think it's actually really good because it gives us... The possibility to cast nothing. Oh no, we have three green sources, so we can cast Garuk with a Whale of Summer. Choose target opponent. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to swing first because there's something I want to try. Oh, now he has an instant speed spell. I don't really care though. I want to keep Veil of Summer for. I want to try if that works with Xanathar because it says choose, but maybe, be yeah, let's not do that. It says choose. Hexproof usually only gets rid of target. Let's just punch him for six, get another counter on my Knight of the Even Legion. Um, sadly, we didn't draw a land. If he does play the Xanathar right now, we straight up just hope for a land, get the Raska, punch face. Um, with Raska's minus, we destroy the xanathar and again that's the entire game plan we have a lot of annoying small little critters that are hard to get rid of we have other one drops did we have our shambling gas lana elves a warm shambler um if you don't know shambling gas it's the the hottest one drop out of afr the last set that came out um lana elves is the we we play green so we so we have to play lana elves that's like the rule and swarm shambler is just it's a one mana one one that can grow if you invest some mana into it. And if they try to get rid of it, you get at least another one one. So it is a blocker, which is helpful. Okay, 
that's kind of scary. He didn't do anything. Why? We are actually at a point where we don't have to pump Knight of the Even Legion anymore. Um, hmm. I'm actually not even going to. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Uh, let's just play Garug, get it countered, play Skull Prophet. We don't need to resolve with Rosco. Like, if they don't plan on playing creatures, then that's good. Who cares? You don't want to play creatures? Let's not play creatures. I have enough Planeswalkers to last an eternity. We have a Garug on the stack, Vivian in the hand, a Rosca in my command zone. We can get rid of flying creatures, enchantments, artifacts, and, and just artifact creatures and enchantments again. Oh, you motherfucker. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play the Skull Prophet over the Knight of the Even Legion, even though this would be four mana, just because. So what now? We don't have lethal. We wouldn't have lethal. I guess we would have had lethal. I misplayed. I suck. Um, yeah, that's the, that, that's the first misplay that I realized. If you realize another misplay, please tell me in the comments. I'm always looking out to improve. And again, I'm not doing any um, deck techs unless someone in the comments actually wants a specific deck tech on one of those um, brawl decks. Simply because there are 100 cards. It's kind of insane to make a deck tech on 100 cards. The, uh, you could argue over every single one of those cards, presumably. Or at least most of the cards. I doubt it. Um... What are abilities? Each target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. Okay, um, that's not what I anticipated. Um, if we play her, we are kind of just tamped out. Um, this gives us one mana, so we could resolve a Knight of the Even Legion, and we could kill something. Each player discards a card. Each opponent who can loses three life. I don't really care for that either, though. I think I want to resolve a Knight of the Even Legion over a Raska because then he needs to get rid of both creatures. Um, we can't swing here. I don't really care about her. I'm at 30. Mountain did a pretty good job. Um, sacrifice a Swamp, XL5 target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Well, that's not happening. Um, because he just got rid of my fucking thingamajig. Um, what else is there? So we could plus, but I would rather minus and get rid of the cold steel heart. What's it called? Cold steel heart. Perfect. I thought that's a shitty name. Um, my reasoning on destroying the cold steel heart is that if he wants to play his commander, which is a piece of shit, he doesn't have a whole lot of other mana to do stuff with i don't know what card that is in his hand so that's my response to that i guess oh no my obs is lagging hey it's back okay i'm not editing this videos on purpose because i don't like it when you watch gameplay and it's so obviously cut that they only show you the wins and the losses. I literally just started a random game. It's fucking 3 in the morning for me. Let's go. He played Sanathar. He loses. He only had 2 mana left. We were capable of pumping both. We could have played the Rask as well. Gotten rid of the Xanathar. Um, What I was talking about earlier was Whale of Summer. Seeing if that would have been maybe possible to... um, Stop him from choosing me but hexproof usually only stops me from being targeted and not me from being chosen those are two separate things and that's why i doubt it i'm just gonna show the deck list real quick i'm not really gonna go over it um if you have suggestions for cards please tell me in the comments i'm going to leave the deck list what's wrong with my pc i'm going to leave the deck list in the description below if you want to try it yourself Obviously, none of these cards in here are must-have. I would argue that most of the Planeswalkers are... It's probably going to be better that your top end that revolves around Planeswalkers 
has the planeswalker that it revolves around, but again, it's a hundred card singleton brawl. I don't think that there are any necessary staples. No, like seriously, what the fuck is happening? Okay, here we are. This is laggy as fuck. Okay. This is deck list. Uh, again, I'm going to post it in the descriptions. If you have recommendations, if you want to tell me that I suck, just do so. If And then, again, if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you didn't like the video, please leave a dislike. And tell me why, so that I maybe, be, maybe can improve upon it in the future. So, let's hope. I'm going to hope to see you again, maybe, soon. Yeah, that's it. Bye.